plants need a specific amount of light for healthy growth. And no, that doesn't just mean turning your lights up to full power. So how can we stop your plants from getting damaged by high light output? Keep watching and you'll find out a bit more. Photosynthetically active radiation is one of the most important measurements of light when you're growing indoors. Your grow room needs a thousand micromoles of light per square meter to create an even canopy and help you increase your yields. This is the PhotoBio Advanced Quantum Parameter. It allows you to monitor the balance of light across your grow room. This allows you to adjust your light sources so that each plant gets the right amount of light. The power meter is a compact, portable device making it really easy to move around your grow room. You can store up to 99 readings so you can track any fluctuations over time. The power meter is compatible with all LED, HPS and CMH grow lights, so you can manage your lights no matter which type you use. To optimise your grow environment, you need lights that deliver a balanced spectrum. This helps to boost yields and plant health. Global Air Supplies offer a range of lighting fixtures, all of which you can use with the PAR meter. I'm now going to hand over to Ian and he can show you how to set it up and use it in a grow room. Thanks, Sarah. Back in the grow tent, we're going to use a PhotoBio Advanced Quantum PAR meter. Basically, it's a light meter. I've had to put my Method 7 sunglasses on, so if you're under this amount of high-powered LEDs, Always try and drop some Method 7s on. Great, great sunglasses for working in a row room. So, a little bit of an unboxing. I'll show you what it's like. In the box, you have the meter, which where it will display your u moles. You have a light meter, and then you have an extension cord where if you want to plug it in and be outside the room, take a reading and come back in, you can put the extended lead on there. Anybody who's running LEDs, this is one of the tools you'll need. Dehumidifiers, heaters, and a power meter are so important in an LED room. So I want to show you how it works. So it's measuring the light output from a light, measuring new moles so you know exactly how much light needs to be on the plant. A full flowering plant doesn't really need to be above a thousand new moles. When you first put them in, two to 300 new moles, creep that up to five to 600, and then towards the end, you can creep it up to a thousand. If you're supplementing CO2, then you can put CO2 in there, then you can ramp up to 12, 1400 without any real damage to the plants. They need that extra CO2 to convert that light energy. So it's really simple how to use it. What we're doing, we're measuring top lights at the moment. So they have the kind of flush lighting where you get that even canopy. So always check at the top of a light, turn it on full. There you go. Put this where you want to be measuring your lights. And in here you can see I'm measuring round about 260, something like that. As you move it around the light canopy, you can see how it slowly changes. Every little bit of shade has a reaction to this light. So even me holding it here is not giving it an accurate reading, but it's good enough for what you need. So when you drop it on your plants, have a look at where it needs to be. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move it closer to the LEDs. So as you have a look at the meter, you can see how quickly it, the intensity increases and now it decreases down to here. These lights are only running about 30% at the moment. If you put them at 100%, these chilies would just shrivel up and die. What I'm gonna do now is go across to the bar lights just to show you the difference. So these lights are roughly giving out the, the same kind of U-Wall output. So if I run there, you're running around about the 300. That's where we need to be. And as I start to go outside the canopy, so as I start to push it out, you'll see that it starts to drop significantly. That's because I'm coming out of the reach of the LEDs. So it drops significantly as I'm moving away from the bar lights. But then when I look at the zeniths, you've got the canopy coming down. So two different ways of using LEDs. These LEDs need to be really close to the plant, about 65 centimeters away, and they'll literally just be covering what's under them. A Zenith top light will be covering it like more like an umbrella, so it comes straight down like this, and you get the overlap. So two different ways of using LEDs. For me, top lights should be intense, bar lights should be multi-layers, or on the trays like we do in the US or in the commercial grows. So a great little tool. You shouldn't be growing in LEDs without one. It's reasonably priced and it will tell you how to grow. You'll be looking at your UMOL output, you'll be increasing it as it goes and you'll be getting fantastic crops. Too much light, they'll struggle. 
not enough light will struggle. So using one of these is essential to get the best out of an LED room. So thanks for looking at the photo bio. I'll send you back to Sarah. Cheers, guys. The photo bio power meter makes measuring light output in your room quick and easy. It helps to protect from uneven and harsh light, resulting in healthier plants and bigger yields. If you've enjoyed this video, please give us a like and a share. And don't forget to follow us for more content from GAS. Bye, bitch!